Hey guys and welcome back. Uh, today we are going to go over um, kind of how to do shops and I'm sorry if the uh, audio is kind of low or whatnot and it's been a while so today we're going to do something that I've done before which is uh, cover how to make shops. Uh, so we're going to go over the code behind it and um, try to do it in a way that is really simple and user friendly. And I'll do it with signs but you can do it with other things. Uh, maybe you want the shop to be like in the text uh, GUI or something, but we're going to do it with signs. So first you want to pop open that great percent app data percent so that you can go to your do 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 okay dot minecraft and then saves and then you go down to your world which this one is up here and then you data packs and you should have a data pack in there now I have quite a bit in here um, I think test is the one that I have open all the time. So here we go. So you're going to make a new MC function file. I have videos covering how to do this stuff. Um, but let me actually create a new folder. Oop. I create a new folder called test. Uh, no, shop. And then let's put this file into the shop. And then let's rename it buy. No, 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 sell underscore coal and this one will just sell coal all right so let's open that and this is sublime text editor uh, you can see that uh, later okay so the main thing that we're going to be doing is inside a function file because the cool thing about functions is they'll run before the game even plays its next frame which makes it a lot better for shops okay so sell coal. So this is where we're going to take the coal that the player has and sell it. So some key things that we need is data. Data get entity at p inventory dot id. Let's go ahead and grab coal. Uh, let's see inventory. Let's grab the inventory. Okay. So I think. The best way would be to do selected items, so they have to hold the item they want to sell, so you don't accidentally sell it. So we'll go like that, selected item, and then we will go dot count. So this will tell me how many I have. Cool. So this is going to display how many of the item I'm holding. So all we need to do is make sure that they're holding the right type of item and the right amount of the item and then you can sell it. So let's go execute and all this stuff we're assuming that the function is played at them so that's why I'm using add s. So we were going to do execute store result score right you can check here if you want store result score at s and then let's check their mbt to see if they have it. Boom. Okay, so this will check if they're holding coal. Then we will do store it onto the uh, what should we call it? Um, inven. Uh, let's call it check uh, inventory. Uh, I'll call it check. All right. Run data get entity, and we'll do the same thing. Add s selected item dot count so here you go so if I'm holding coal then it will do this now let me just check oh not minecraft dot it's colon there you go so I have now I have to create the check score uh, scoreboard objectives add check dummy you're only gonna need one score for this entire thing which is pretty cool so we're just gonna use the check score to check uh, if they have enough of the item. So if I do this command, it will set my check score to 64, which is how many I have. If I only have one, it will set it to one, just like that. All right, so now that we have this command, we're gonna put it back in here. And before we run this, we are gonna do scoreboard players set at S check zero. So it resets their score just in case from previous buy, it told them that they have 30 of something, I don't know. All right, 
So now the next few are going to be really, really short. So we just need a couple conditions. So first we need it to do something. If they don't have enough, it needs to tell them. Or if they're not holding the item, it needs to tell them. So it just needs to kind of give you like input. So this is going to tell you if uh, they have the item and how many of the item they have. Um, let's let's go ahead and add the buy and then at the end we'll add the input. And back here is just for tell raw. Uh, what happened? Go back. All right. So let's just do the final step which is execute if entity at s uh, sorry if score at s check is greater than or equal to and then you can do some kind of selector so this time we're going to do let's do 16 constant now this is the second scoreboard that you'll need but you probably already have it if you don't have it then add it to your list right here. Constant is just a way for you to create constant values, right? So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, I already have it and I have a bunch of constant values, 32, 64, 75, 90, 100, 180, blah, 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 blah. So if I put in, you see this is a name, 32, and the value on the constant score is 32. So if I, oops, all right, so if I go here, if I put 32 constant, then it will check the player of name 32, which is right here, and this only breaks if somebody actually has the name 32 in the game. I don't know if that's possible. All right, so it checks if your check score is greater than or equal to 32. Run, scoreboard, players, give, uh, wait, no, run, give s diamond here we're going to give a diamond you could uh, add to his money score and then if they have enough money they can buy stuff which is what i would do for currency but this is just a simple thing so as you can see it doesn't do anything because my score is only one all right so we can test this if you want we can do slash reload and since we reloaded now that the file is there so let's do data pack list let's list what's there all right so let's enable test let's enable it uh, yours will come default enabled so i'm going to actually make a couple of things here so here's one with 32 here's one with 31 and here's one with uh but okay and then let's just make one with like seven all right so if i do function test shop sell coal it will not do anything if I do it here. It will not do anything, but if I do it here, it will give me a diamond. Cool. So we got it to give a diamond. Now we also need it to do another thing. So after it does this, we need it to also clear at s coal 32. So this will clear 32 coal. Now, if you have a bunch of stuff that you want to happen, as if it's true, then like let's like let's just say there's a bunch of stuff you want to have happen like set scores tell you you sell successful then what i would do is instead of doing this command it would do another function and in that function you can put a list of everything you want to happen using at s without having to have the check go on if you get what i'm saying this is kind of a more advanced thing anyway um so let's do reload and let's give ourselves that coal oh all right cool uh, Boom, and I lose 32, and I lose 32. Now let's try for 32 of something else, or 64 of something else. Obviously it won't work because it doesn't store the value onto check, so check remains zero if I'm not holding the correct item. So that actually gives us a good segue into what we're, next we're doing. We're doing, next we have to do like updates to let you know what's going on, right? So if there's a problem, then we have to tell them there's a problem. So you do we're going to do a tell raw if this value is still zero that means they weren't even holding a single item of it so it'll say please hold the proper item okay so let's go ahead and do that let's get this out of the way and i'm opening dropbox on accident okay so let's go please oh. the heck um how do i refresh this it's like it it knows my data which is stupid like it knows what i was test typing before 
Whatever. I'll try and work with it. Please hold proper item. And we will do it in red. So let's generate that and copy it. Cool. So we will tell it to them if their scores of check is equal to zero. So if it's zero, then that means they weren't holding the item at all. And then if their check score is below 32, but greater than zero, so between one and 32, it'll say, uh, sorry, between one and 31, <laughs> put not enough items come back with the right amount. Cool. So this is actually a lot simpler than our previous one that we did. So let's actually give ourselves a sign now. So let's go to the sign generator. That will actually just, you know, do this for us so we don't type the function every time. So let's go cell col 32 colon 1, 1 diamond. Cool. And then we will do slash function test shop cell underscore col. All right, cool. So now this sign, when you right click it, will play that function at you. And you don't have to be opt to right click this sign, which is why I use signs. Uh, you can be unopt, so let's do it. So please hold proper item. If you're comfortable holding this, please hold proper item. Let's grab, let's hold this. Not enough items, come back with that amount. And this will not say anything and it just sells you it. So that's how you do the selling of items. Now, the that's I, I think that covered everything. Um, there's one other thing that that's a lot simpler. So this will be sell. So let's just, I mean, this is gonna be kind of long video anyway. So let me add buy. So if you can sell something, obviously you can buy something. So this would be if you had like a scoreboard, right? Because like, if you wanted to make it so you trade a di go backwards, so you turn in a diamond for 32 coal, it would be the exact same process as this. Just replace the word coal with diamond and replace the amount 32 with one and replace this with one and replace this with one, right? You just, you just replace the things, right? But, uh, of course, this last thing that tells you come back with the right amount, there's no way for you to have the wrong amount and be holding the item if you're only selling one. Duh. Okay, but this one is going to assume, this next thing we're going to do is going to assume that you have some kind of money score. So I'll just make it, but it's not necessary. Uh, it's only necessary for me to make some kind of purpose because there would be different code if you're just selling, uh, if you're buying using a scoreboard, but it's a really easy buying using a scoreboard. The hardest part of this was the beginning, which is what most people need help with, which is checking for um, how many items the player has, which this is a really cool way to do it because guess how many commands it takes? Technically it only takes three, so selling items in three commands in one scoreboard and the scoreboard, you don't need like a new one for each item. So yeah, easy stuff, a lot better than before. And then this extra one is because I need two of the same thing happening. And then these extra ones are because I want them to know, get some kind of response. Anyway, so let's buy it. So let's go. Well, this is the easy, <laughs> this is the easiest part. <laughs> Execute. Um, we'll just do give at s scores equals money equals uh, 30 dot dot. So if they have 30 money, at least 30 money, then it'll give them a diamond. And then scoreboard players remove at s scores equals money equals 30 dot dot money 30. So this second one assumes that the first one happened because they both have the same criteria here and it will give them a diamond and remove money. And then if you want to add some extra like displays to help the player, we can do stuff like this. We can go. Uh, so you want to have the display text happen before it removes the score. Otherwise it'll mess things up because after you remove the score, it could tell them that they don't have enough money, but the truth is it did buy and it did have enough money. So you want to do it after. So we could say, um, not enough money. If their value is less than the two dots, 29. And then if it's greater than 30, 
then in green you can say purchase successful cool all right so now if we reload and we come back to the sign and we go buy underscore did i call it buy at coal i'm so stupid all right whatever uh 30 money for one and it's technically a diamond whatever doesn't matter it's well you know technically calls it is diamonds all right so if i right click this it says wait scoreboard players list that p scoreboard play objectives since they side for money all right uh oh sorry i shouldn't be using check here it should be money and money so now it doesn't even say anything because i don't even have the money score but i can do scoreboard player set as money 10. not enough money let's set it to 30. purchase successful you get the diamond all right guys so that's it for this one really simple stuff buying using um money is like the easiest ever selling is a little bit harder but using this new a uh, thing that you can do to store results and check scores using if inside your execute really makes this a lot easier and pretty much only two commands that's all it takes really just two but i add this extra one at the top to reset the score so i don't have to make multiple scores anyways guys that's it for today hopefully you liked it um it's been a while I'll probably try to pick up some more but i've been doing a lot of work on the server so anyways guys i'll see you later peace